Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N-Scale Trains. Today I'm going to be talking about how I design and print out high-precision N-Scale models such as this. If you're interested in uh, seeing my techniques and the software, just hang in there and see the rest of this video. For my models, I use three modern techniques, two of them 3D, one of them 2D. For my, the basic bodies, which don't have to be super high precision, I used fused deposition modeling with uh, PLA plastic. With this technique, the model is built up in layers. The filament material is squirted out through a hot filament onto a plate, and the model is built up in layers. For more highly precise parts, such as the windows and the door assemblies at the end here, I use three-dimensional digital light processing using a resin. With this technique, the um, model is built up again in layers using a resin that is sensitive that uh, sets up with UV light, so it's exposed to UV light and built up again in layers. Finally, I use two-dimensional cutting machines. I print out the parts on photo paper and then cut them with the precision cutting machine. I'll talk about all First, I want to show some of the operations with uh, 3D Builder to give you an idea of how it works. We'll start by inserting a cube with the insert cube buttons. Let's size that. We can do that with the arrows or if we want to enter it manually. So there's our first cube. You notice it's not flat. It's not flat on the uh, surface. So what we want to do is settle it using the object settle command. Now let's insert another cube. Let's make this all the same size, all, all axes. And let's bring it up. Now, if I wanted to rotate it, I could do that in all three axes. You notice it jumps to the right, to the um, 90 degree angle. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And you see it sticks. Now it's centered there. We can have it anywhere we want, or we can put it up against this edge, and you see it's stuck there. Stick there. Stick there. Now say we want to put a hole in the center of this assembly, center of that cube. <coughs> Let's insert a cylinder. Let's make that two millimeters. Whoops. Like that two millimeters by two millimeters. We just want it longer than the total assembly. Okay. Now let's make sure it goes through both and we go to the edit subtract and you see there's a perfect hole so the first part of the model that i will do is the bulk of the assembly the body and the seal roof and the roof overhang part the 3d builder modeling program allows you to create parts adjust their size their rotation and their position Start out by creating three slabs using the make a cube command.
Then orient them and group them as shown to make the main building body with the dimensions that are shown here. Next we need to cut five holes in the sides of the building. Create cube, cu uh, cubic rectangles shown here, four for the windows, one for the door, and then we will cut them using the subtract command. After the body is done, we create a wedge for the roof with the dimensions shown. Calculate the angle as I showed here because that will be useful for further operations. Create two thin roof pieces and orient them as shown with, at the desired angle that we calculated before. Increase their length slightly so that they meet at the middle. When you activate the stickiness properties of pieces and you move them about, they tend to snap together in logical places. This makes putting things together easier. Cut the chimney holes as shown, making two cylinders, place them in the, at 80 millimeters apart on the roof line, and subtract them. Load your model file into your slicer program. I use Creality Slicer, which is free. Make your print fly, file, load that onto the uh, printer, and we're ready to print. So here we are printing the part on my machine. The actual print process takes six and a half hours, so this has been speeded up considerably. I decided it was better to print these parts out flat like this rather than the whole building in one piece. So these come out with a uh, brim. Which just comes off. The brim helps to hold it to the tape, to the uh, plate when it's printing. I put a little angle there so it bends but doesn't come apart. So to I'll have to sand this down a bit. Put these together, these chimneys. are just made up of cylinders. The main one is five millimeters. These are 5.5 .5 millimeter holes, so it just fits. So you have three cylinders and a little cone part at the top. Assembly, you just put everything together, glue the parts together, put this down, and you've got your building. Then glue on the, see there's a fold there, take off the windows. Put them on. This extra piece is just the uh, cupulo vent. It goes right there with its own roof. And then another roof piece for here. You 
you can see that with the precision assemblies, precision manufacture, everything fits just fine. Now you may wonder why I've got this roof support. That's to keep the edge from bending when you handle it. And then the windows are straightforward. Just a bunch of rectangles made so they fit into the holes. Doors are similar. You see how nicely these come out from the um, resin printer? They're just absolutely perfect. And that's how you put this thing together. Forgot to talk about the end pieces. You start with a rectangle, cut a hole in it, put a triangle wedge on top. I add a uh, decorative wedge hollowed out give it some depth, four corners, some edges, and um, the doors. The doors are made up in three pieces, a flat piece, and then these outer pieces, which consists of a hollow rectangle and these things, everything sliced. Both sides are the same. And then there, this whole thing is printed together on the resin printer. And when you're done, it fits over the end like that, covers up the edge of the paper. So you get a nice, neat assembly. And when it's all done, it looks like this. kits, by the way, I have a closed door, so if you want to have one door closed all the time, you can do that too. In the description below, I've provided a link to where you can buy these kits if you're interested in putting together one of these engine houses. Also, please subscribe to my channel, Dean's Enscale Trains, and as always, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.